Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Google Forms to send out um, surveys or even to collect information for men on the street assignments. I know some of you have had some trouble texting people and, and getting people to answer you back. So I think this form might be useful to you. So you're going to start um, by going to your waffle and finding your Google Forms tool. If you don't see Google Forms in here, it's possible because your Waffle pretty much just picks up the tools you use the most. You can also go to your um, address bar here and type in forms.google.com. If you guys look at the top where it says start a new form, there's forms that are already made for you. I would just suggest picking a worksheet. Um, it has a lot of the information that you need already there. So, I would click worksheet and you want to name it whatever the subject is. So let's say you're doing a man on the street about um, your beat. If your beat is banned um, and you wanted to ask people what's different about marching band this year than last year. So underneath the title, there's a section for you to add some clarification so that people know the context you're asking this question. And, and you may want to say, you know, last year before COVID, you guys were able to march and go to football games and do all of the and practice together. And now because of COVID restrictions, there's obviously a lot obviously a lot of changes. We want to hear more about that. So you may want to put something to explain to them where you're coming from. Um, you'll have a space for their name. Make sure that that short answer, these are, if you click worksheet, these are already made for you. To collect their email, the same thing. Um, you can delete things that you don't need. Um, or you can create a new um, question. And so the, the question that I love to have is what grade are you in? Because this helps us collect data. And look, when I put that in, all of these suggestions popped up and I'm just gonna click add all. And so that's done. That Make sure it's required as well so that they can't skip over it, especially if that's data you really want. I like to make all of mine required so that nobody can skip over anything, um, especially if it's information I need. Now, you wanna have a question um, that asks the question that you're, you're looking for. So, I'm going to type in what, describe You guys, just like in an interview, your question is very important. Don't ask them questions that they can only answer with yes or no. By adding describe to this question, it really makes them have to think about what they're going to say and type at least a sentence, hopefully. Just in case they don't get that, though, I'm going to put explain your answer. Over here where it says check boxes, I don't want a checkbox answer because I want them to explain. I'm going to choose paragraph just in case they have a lot to say. They probably won't, but wishful thinking. And then here's the cool part. Here's the part that really helps with your man on the street. I am going to create um, a question that asks for them to submit a picture. So what I'm gonna do is, again, over here, it's, this is the question and this is the type of question. I'm going to put um, file upload and I'm gonna click continue. And the question is gonna be, Please submit a photo of you. The photo should be just your face and shoulders. Please add a photo without filters. And we're going to go down to only allow 
allow only specific file types and I'm going to change that to image because I don't want any PDFs or presentations or drawings. I want to make sure this is something I can actually use. I like to give them the option to upload five pictures. We're only asking for one, but just in case somebody is worried about choosing the right one, they could upload several, make this required, and then that's it. All you have to do is share this quiz with your the people in your beat. And that way, if I'm asking for six, you can send it out to 10 people. You're really not doing a lot of work. You're just sending them this link. And when they answer it back, it'll show up in your forms. When you open the form, it'll show up in responses. All of their responses will show up for you. Um, and then you can just download the stuff that they gave you and turn it into me. And you'll have their attribution, which is their name and their grade. You'll have their photo for the mugshot, and you'll also have their quote. And it's you'll definitely have it in their own words because they typed it in. It's a really cool way to get this done um, without stressing out. When you are ready to send it, you can just click on send and type the emails of the people you wanna send it to, or you can get the link and you can copy that link and actually just text the link to your friends. It's that simple. Just make sure that they are um, using their YASD account when they open it. Because if you're creating it in YASD, then only YASD people are going to be able to use it. So that's all.